What's up gotcha gamers? So in today's video I will cover three subjects. First of all, how do you reroll? Then what are the methods of rerolling? And then finally, what is the tier list you should be aiming for when you're rerolling? Since the game has just launched, the fastest and quickest way of rerolling is to just simply complete all the tutorial missions until the game stops holding your hand. Then just simply pop over to your mailbox, check the rewards that have been sent to you, which is the 10 summoning tickets you get for the normal hero summons, and then go to the summon screen where you can just summon 10 heroes. And if I'm not mistaken, I've been doing a lot of rerolling, you always get one SSR hero guaranteed. So just check the results and let's hope you're getting some SS tier material heroes. So there are currently three ways you can reroll in Goddess of Genesis. You might have noticed when you're trying to clear the app data, it doesn't actually work and the game still shows your old login. So the first method would be to just simply delete the game completely and re-download it. The downside is that you actually need to download about 1.2 gigabytes of data all over again and that's not feasible for a lot of us. So I would say if you don't have any problems with this re-downloading and waiting until the game installs, then sure you can go ahead, but there are two other better methods of doing this. So let's move on. So the second method would be to actually just switch the servers. There are currently six servers on the C region, which means if you're not happy with your reroll results, you can just log out of the game and log back in into a different server. And this essentially means you have about six tries or unless the game developers add more servers. The downside of this method is obviously for those who are playing this with their friends or their clan or their guild. So this actually just gives less uh, of leeway for you to pick your own favorite rerolls. Which brings us to the final third method, which I consider to be the most superior. So if you haven't noticed, I am using a Bluestacks emulator. This emulator allows me to play the game in multiple instances, which essentially means that you're just creating another copy of the same emulator you've been using. And to run the multiple instances of the same emulator, what you first need to do is create a fresh instance of a Bluestacks emulator and then download Goddess of Genesis from either the Google Play Store or if you're in my situation and you're not based in the C region, then just use something like APK Pure. Uh, I use APK Pure Launcher. I download the Goddess of Genesis from there and then I do not open the game. Do not open the game. Do not do anything with it just yet. Close the emulator you have open right now. Then go back to the multiple instance manager and create a copy of it and never touch the initial copy you created because the game needs to remain pure. It, it cannot be launched even once because then it like creates a different sort of like initialization data which you do not want to appear on your emulator. And afterwards, if you're not happy with your results, just keep launching and cloning the same instance you had from the first time you created it. And as you can see in the video, I had two copies of the emulator running and I, I pulled basically, well, not the best, greatest results as you can see Gabriel and Michael. So yeah, it's very simple. It, it also depends on what kind of a PC you're using or laptop. So if you don't have a very good CPU or GPU, uh, my advice would be for you to just run uh, two same instances at the same time so you can just multitask them at the same time. I've included a link below the video for you to download Bluestacks so make sure to check it out. Now when it comes to thinking which hero you should be rerolling for, I would suggest some of these heroes. First would be Lilith. She is currently the strongest assassin in the game just because she can go into stealth and which allows her to avoid any single target attacks. Only AoE damage deals damage to her and obviously she deals a lot of damage on a single target enemy. Next would be Merlin. Uh, she is a very very strong mage. Uh, one of the things that makes her very powerful is because anybody who's in her ally team uses a AoE attack, she gets to trigger her own AoE attack. So basically are getting two for one AoE attacks. Not to mention that her ultimate ability is basically like a nuke bomb. So I would highly advise to go for her if you like mage style character. And finally we have Lucifer. Uh, she's actually a free character you can unlock from just doing the missions that you're granted as a new player. But she is a very good character in her own and obtaining her as an additional copy is good because you get to unlock more shards for her. And ultimately in this game in order to make your character very strong you need to unlock a lot of shards for them which means obtaining multiple copies of them. So if you like Lucifer, if you want to stick with her because you already have one copy of her just from completing your tutorial missions, then I would highly advise go for her as well. If you are looking for Goddess of Genesis tier list, we have that already prepared for you. Make sure to check out our next video. We also have our tier list on our website gotchagamer.com and we've also prepared for you a beginner's guide which helps you progress in the game more smoothly. Finally, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to subscribe, click the like button and leave a comment below the video. This is Toby with Gotcha Gamer. See you in the next video.